I'm here in Barangay Taguig today, which is where BGC is located, but I'm close over to the border where Patros is. And I'm here today to visit a school, which is still closed, doing an interview with one of the teachers. Some of the houses here, residential houses. It's all residential. Pretty cool, actually. here at the elementary school. It is hot as all blazes today. And I'm impressed to see that there is not only a greenhouse, but an entire agricultural like, curriculum element for the kids here. They make their own planters, they grow their own foods. It's uh, something that I've always thought would be awesome to teach children, at least in schools in the US. And I think if some are starting to, it just goes back to that mindset where People are saying if you don't teach people how to be self-sufficient, self-reliant, if you don't teach them how to grow food, then you're teaching them to be dependent. Which is, according to some schools of thought, what the authoritarian regimes would want their people to be, right? Completely dependent. I think they're growing the good stuff in there. So the classroom here, it is obviously not ready for school students. It uh, was shut down in a hurry, I'm assuming. And it, it has a real like, you know, Walking Dead sort of abandoned feel. There's a thick layer of dust on all the desks. The room has apparently been unused, yet to be cleaned for the school year. So my personal perspective, after giving the interview, look at my shirt and my hat. It's just drenched. I'm, I'm just dripping. It is ridiculously hot in here. It's June in the Philippines, which is usually a school month for June. The classes start in June, traditionally. And we've been in here for maybe 30 or 40 minutes. And this is a very, very warm, non-air-conditioned environment for as many as 50 children uh, to go to school. But there's lots of fans. Wow, look at that beauty. That is old school. creative use of recycled materials and flowing water and growing systems, hydroponic elements. It's pretty cool. So I'm here today doing an interview and getting shots for a documentary that I've been working on and it's really interesting to see how different the schools and the school systems are here. This is a really large school here in Taguig. It's one of the biggest schools probably 10,000 people in the school. The growing agricultural sort of development elements that they have are really cool. Lots of uh, vegetables and native plants and herb lore. They're teaching holistic elements of herbs. It's really pretty cool. Some of the more noticeable things that they're growing here, mint, basil, oregano, Silly, the chilies, and the malangai. So, we gotta get a tricycle today, but because of the quarantine rules, there's only one person allowed for a tricycle. So, it's two tricycles. To 
get into the coffee project, you need to fill out a form. I guess it's a health declaration form. It's really just becoming ridiculous at this point. Like, I think I should be Elmer Fudd today. So some people say June is the end of summer here in the Philippines. And it is the first week of June and it is raining. And last year and the year before, like clockwork, the first week of June, it started raining. So that may be the herald of the rainy season. No more summer here in the Philippines. Summer spent lockdown. Summer usually whizzes by here. I always think it's like so fast. It only seems like it's two months. I mean, it's probably more like three, but this year it dragged and not in a good way. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content from Manila, Philippines.